Hi guys, right, so today's the last day of Aveda, so instead of doing my uh, childhood memory video because my brother and I are going to record it together for you guys later, so I'm going to talk about potty training. Um, Mikey is four, and I wouldn't say that he's potty trained, he's just there, we're still, you know, at night we don't, um, it's not that I don't trust him, it's just that he... We're trying to get my in-laws to, you know, because they take, they take the kids for, I think, about a half hour, and they put them in their jammies. Um, so if my husband can, you know, he can get ready for work. Um, obviously, my husband could do it once the kids are in bed, but it's a little bit easier for him to do it then for some reason. I don't know why. So, anyways, he takes, they take them for a half hour, they put them in their jammies. So they put up in... The footy one, so, but, so it's, we've been trying to potty train him for about a year. It's been on and off for a year. Um, and that's mainly because, you know, most people say, oh, what, 18 months or whatever. Don't go by an age. <laughs> go by when they should, they're ready. Um, and you'll know they're ready when, you know, like they start telling you, you know, you know, I went poop or, you know, when they are starting to get uncomfortable being, you know, wet. Uh, Mikey never had a problem, still doesn't have a problem being wet in underwear, I mean, in uh, diaper pull-ups. I mean, did I see that? Yeah, diaper pull-ups. But underwear, he does not like being wet in them. It just feels odd. Um, so... When I was out on bed rest, because uh, he's been, he's, for the last year with my dad, he's potty trained. He'll go potty for my dad. Because uh, when my dad was uh, um, taking him, even about a year ago, you know, he would go into the bathroom in Lowe's and everything and go perfect for my dad. Uh, my dad also would sing a silly song to him. <laughs> But he is a papa's boy. So anyways, so when I was out on bed rest, um, my dad took him for an hour. And, you know, I never, I, I knew about my dad's, you know, song. But, you know, we all tried singing to him and distracting him in the bathroom. And, you know, so when my dad took him for about an hour and he came home and he said, Mommy, I have nothing on my butt. You know, I instantly touched, you know, you know, his butt with his pants. Okay. Sorry, I'm having some really intense cramping. <sighs> okay, so we're still just trying to talk through it uh, with you guys. All right. So, um, anyways, we were talking to, I felt his butt, and I'm like, that's odd. It felt like he had nothing on. So I'm like, oh, great, thanks, Dad. He just decided, you know, he was going commando. So we looked, and he was in undies. I'm like, okay. So I just kind of, you know, told my husband, I said, you know, watch him. He is dressed in undies. And... He would start grabbing himself, and my husband would say, Hey, Mikey, why don't you go potty? And sure enough, he would go. So, um, you know, so we basically make a long story short. Basically, with Mikey, um, it was because we, after that, we tried it the next day with pull-ups, and he didn't tell us. So I put him in diapers the next day, I mean, in underwear the next day, and he would tell us he had to go. He had a couple accidents here and there. But nowhere's near, you know, what I expected. Um, so from that point on, we kind of did cold turkey except for at night. He gets a, um, a diaper at night because he's still wearing the footy pajamas because it's still a little chilly at night. Um, but we figured once we hit the summer, we can put him in... 
you know, shorts and a t-shirt, and he can wear undies to bed. Because he does. He holds it all night. Um, so, yeah. So for Mikey, it was a feeling, he knew, he could feel the difference between the pull-ups and underwear. And so, you know, to him, because he even said that, you know, well, it's okay to put, pee in your pull-up. Oh. And then we had to explain to him that, no, it's not okay to, you know, it's not a bad thing, but you really need to go in the potty. And so we, you know, he goes to school. He, um, like I said before, he, we put him in, he gets up in the morning, we put him in underwear, and he's good for the day. No accidents now. Um... The only thing is he used to be where he'd poop at like 10 o'clock in his underwear, well, in his diaper. Now he's pooping at night, well, first thing in the morning before we change him. Um, so, but he has pooped on the potty um, twice before. So we're just, you know, working on that with him. But, yeah, so anyway, that is pie training. and You've tried a lot of different things. Just try cold turkey. Just here's, you know, here you go. You're in underwear. Because it could just simply be the feeling of the material. Um, and for your little one, it might not work. But at least it's something you could try. Because, um, yeah, every kid's different. A sweet pea wants to be potty trained. She can actually go on the little potty. But because now Mikey is using the big potty, she wants to use the big potty. Which she can't. She's too tiny. Um, we've put her on it, and she just can't go. So, so yeah, so the last day of VEDA, and remember, if there's any videos that you guys really want me to keep doing, uh, just let me know, but I'm going to probably take a week off, just, I'll still do my pregnancy vlog, but, so, I think I only missed one day completely, maybe two, so I'd say we did pretty good, uh, considering uh, August, I, after I miscarriage, I, I, it was hard on me to continue, um, so, and then this coming August, I'll do it again, but it's going to get a little interesting because uh, you guys will seeing, you'll be seeing everything up until we have the baby. So, just let me know, too, in the comments if you guys really want us to do August. Um, so, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll let you... I want to say bye. You say bye bye. <laughs> Can you blow them a kiss goodbye? Okay, bye.